In this video, we're gonna be on Hack the Box and we're gonna do the box called Knife, which is an easy rated machine. But first, if this is the first time that we're meeting, welcome to my channel. My name is John Good, and here I get to spread my passion for cybersecurity training, tips and tricks, and career advice to help you go further. Remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss future content, and make sure to leave a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Check out my website at johngood.com for career coaching, consulting services, and more training. Make sure that you check out the membership program for YouTube by clicking the join button down below the video and you can see the different tiers that are available. Also make sure to check out my getting started page where you get free resources and a free copy of my ebook on cybersecurity careers. All right, let's get into the video. All right, so the very first thing that you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to log into your Hack the Box account and then you're gonna go to the lab section and machines. And then you can sort by it if you need to. But again, we're doing the knife machine. So we'll go ahead and click it and we will launch it. All right, so go ahead and flip back to our Kali instance so we can connect into the lab environment. Now, typically when I run a scan against a system, I'll do this nmap-pn-a, and then I'll output it to all formats in case you're interested. But again, I've already ran this scan against the system to save time. We have port 22 open running SSH. Typically SSH is not vulnerable, so that's usually not gonna be something that we're gonna compromise. You might be able to guess passwords or log in that way, but that's not gonna be our vulnerability typically. And then we have port 80 open, running HTTP with HTTP Apache version 2.4.41. So that's probably gonna be our vector that we need to look into. So since we have port 80 open, we're gonna run GoBuster against that. We'll open up a new tab here and we'll do GoBuster, We'll search directories, word list, and we'll run that search. So while that's running, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open up the actual web page here. So we'll open up Firefox, and we can see that we're taken to this web page here. Now, none of these links are actually coded in here, so they don't lead to anything. So we have to kind of think about what we wanna do. Now. Like I said here, SSH isn't gonna be our vulnerable way of getting into the box. And so what we can do is we can actually search for this Apache version and we can try to find some vulnerabilities for that. So we can go to Google and search for any exploits. We can go to exploit DB and look for anything. I didn't find anything when I was originally going through this. So that's kind of a dead end, but that's kind of the, the path that you would do. So if we go back here to this main page, what else can we find? Well, what is this running? What is this web page running besides Apache? So what you can do is you can go into the web developer section here. And we wanna open up the web console here. So we'll make this bigger here so you can see it easier. And we wanna to go to the network section here. And it's gonna make us reload this page here. So let's go ahead and reload it. We get all kinds of requests in here. So let's go ahead and click on one of these. And we can see that this is powered by PHP 8.1.0. So that's gonna be interesting. So we'll go ahead and we'll copy that. We'll go back to Google. And we'll search for that. All right, so we can see that we do get something at exploit DB. And I'm not gonna use that particular one because that actually led to an issue when I was trying to actually compromise the box. So the one that we actually wanna do is this packet storm one. So if you go ahead and click on that, you can download this and save it to your actual system. I've already done that. We'll go back here. And with the GoBuster search, basically the only thing that you really end up finding is the server status. So we're gonna go ahead and cancel this. And we're gonna go to my exploits folder here that we have. And you'll see, I did try to use that exploit DB exploit. But again, I had issues with a later part of this video. And so that's why this other one ends up being a better option to do. Now with this particular exploit, it basically allows you to run commands. So 
if we go ahead and use this syntax that's on the screen here, and hit return, we will see that that actually gives us a response back. So what else could we do? Well, if we do ID, then we can actually see which user that this system is using for that web application. That's pretty dangerous, and that's gonna lead us to getting a shell. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna open up a new tab here, and we'll put this side by side so you can see this here. We'll do netcat and we'll do nlvp4444, and we'll start that listener so that we can get a shell back. Now the command that you're gonna to wanna to use, since we know we can execute commands, is this command here on the screen, and that is going to initiate a shell back to our actual system, our Kali box. We hit return, and then there we go. Now we're in as James on that knife box. So we have the user capabilities on this system. So just like any box, now we wanna look for the user.txt file and the flag so that we can insert that into hack the box. So we'll do find, we'll do type, we'll look for files, names, user.txt. And of course we get a whole bunch of different stuff that we need to actually find just that file. So we'll do find, type files, name, user.txt, and we'll redirect everything else to devnull. There we go. So go ahead and you'll cat that file out and then you'll get your flag or hack the box. So now how do we privilege escalate this box? Well, one of the first things that I like to do when I go onto systems is check if I can do sudo. So we'll do sudo dash L. And if you look at this, we can run the knife as root. That's pretty dangerous. So one thing that you can do is if you go to GTFO bins, you can actually find this information about that actual vulnerability. So we'll go to Google and we'll search for GTFO bins. We'll go there and we'll search for knife. There it is. All right, so we can run it as sudo. So let's go back to our shell. We're gonna go back to GTFO bins real quick here. Minimize that. And we need to copy that. Copy that, and we'll go back to our shell here. Make this a little bit bigger for you so you can see it. And what we're going to do is we're going to echo that entire command. And we're going to send it to temp config.rb. Now, this is because with knife, it uses config files in a certain way, and we're going to utilize that in order to get root privileges. So we will echo that to that file, hit return. We'll go ahead and we'll switch to temp just so you can see this. Cat that file out. So that's what it looks like. Now we're going to run sudo, and then we're going to run knife user list dash c. And then we're going to do config.rb, which is that file that we just created. All right, now we do id. Now we're root. Great. We've compromised this box. So just like we did with user, we're going to look for that root.txt file. So type files. We're going to look for name, root.txt. And then we're going to direct everything else to dev null. All right, and then go ahead and cat the contents of that flag. Congratulations. Now you've compromised the knife box, which is an easy rated box on the Hack the Box training platform. Question of the day, how would you rate this box called knife on Hack the Box training platform? Would you agree that it's easy? Do you think it's medium? Do you think it's hard? Do you think it's insane? What do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below. In this video, we walk through rooting the knife box on Hack the Box training platform. As always, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future content. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Check out my website at johngood.com for more training, resume reviews, and career advice, and I'll see you next time.